Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Movemas Day 8. I almost said Vlogmas again. <laughs> it's really all that's on my mind. This morning, Steven just took Mabel for a walk. Bubba's is taking the day off, so he's here with me, and I am just sitting here going through some of my necklaces that I've like accumulated over the years and deciding which ones I want to keep, which ones that I don't want to keep, and... Yeah, just going through those, and then I'm gonna show you how I'm going to be packing them. I'm also trying to decide which ones um, are going to go in my like jewelry travel case because those are ones that I um, want to travel with and that I don't want packed up. I'm also trying to determine those based off of like their value as well. So like more of the cost to me pickups that I have that aren't sentimental or not in, like as valuable, I probably will just pack the way I'm packing them. Although I might be able to travel with all of them. I'm not sure, but let me get them laid out so I can kind of determine which ones are getting packed for what. All right, so I have my necklaces laid out in no particular, well, in a particular order. Like ones up here are um, ones that I don't mind losing. <laughs> I should rephrase that. Or what, ones that I wouldn't be devastated if I lost and would be easily replaceable. Um, this one is the only one. This is off my first Louis Vuitton Speedy um, that I bought. And that's the lock from it that I have hanging on a necklace, which I love to wear. And then just some of these are like, this is a vintage necklace from the 60s. This is my vote necklace. I love my vote necklace. But those are like just keep easily replaceable necklaces. And then down here are a lot of my like more uh, valuable pieces. Um, each of these has a color of the rainbow and gemstones and diamonds. This is a diamond pendant. These are little, I think this one's from Ideal. This is a little diamond C. This is one of my favorites. So these are ones that I think is like a Tiffany ball necklace. Um, this one's super sentimental. This one needs clean desperately, but this one is super cool. This is a paperclip necklace with a tennis necklace half. Like, it's split. It's one of my favorites. I wear it to layer. And then this one is my cheetah necklace. I actually have two of them. But I think I'm just going to try to travel with all of my jewelry in my car with me because I have lots of rings and things like that, and I just maybe want to keep them all with me. But I'm going to show you how... I'm going to travel with all of these because these could easily become a mess. Normally in my closet, they're just hanging in this acrylic stand. I also have some chunkier necklaces over there, but they won't tangle. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do this. I bought a package of high quality file folders and I bought a box to lay file folders in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay them in a file folder and tape both ends of the necklace. And then I'll lay it in the file box and it's going to keep all of them secured. I have to go pick up the file box. It's a pickup order at Target. But I figured this is the easiest and safest way to transport all of them, knowing that they are not going to get tangled and I'm gonna have a mess to deal with when I get back. And then I can just take one off at a time. This is gonna work amazingly. And then I can just lay them all flat in the box and I'm going to pick like three or four to put in my travel case which will be most likely my Pascherel C that's emerald it's not even down here because it hangs in my closet in a separate spot because I wear it all the time but this actually works perfectly and I'm just taping really close to the charm so that it doesn't have much wiggle room to move around and I'm alternating like one ch if one charm is this way, I'm putting it on the other side. That really did fit a decent amount of necklaces. So I could just fold that up on itself now. 
and I'll store that flat in a file folder box. And when I open them up, they will all still be in place. This was a great way to store those. All right, I'm gonna keep going through these and getting them all stacked and ready to be organized. I am getting ready to head out tonight at four o'clock. Steven's family is coming over, his sister, his aunt, his mom and dad, they're bringing dinner and dessert. So we're all gonna be hanging out, but I wanna go grab a couple things and run a couple errands and I have to go to Target to get that file box. <laughs> I'm just leaving my magic patch. I get maybe five pimples a year and of course, this week I got one. I wonder if it had something to do with my facial, if I had a reaction to something, because I got a different facial than usual. Um, it's just super rare that I get them, so that's the only thing I can think that changed up. I'm just wearing one of my merch shirts that you guys have made so popular. Um, all the information is linked below. This one says, if you can be anything, be at peace. I'm wearing a pair of Vejas that are like one of those dad styles. I've had them forever and I've just not worn them. So this is their first time out on the town. And then these really baggy olive green pants. I'm also wearing a hat because my hair appointment with my girl Emily is not until tomorrow. So we're gonna get that hair taken care of because it has been wild when I've gone back and edited, but it is what it is. And I am who I am. All right, running some errands doing the things. I also just grabbed my Louis Vuitton bum bag. Some of you were asking how I feel about it. I love it, I use it all the time. It's gonna be really handy while traveling and moving, but I have the old version and I just keep the zipper flap pulled up because this actually folds over like that and it makes the zipper impossible to slide. It was such a complaint that Louis Vuitton actually remodeled it with a whole new zipper configuration, but this is the old version, the original one, and what you hear them say about the zipper is absolutely true. It's really, really hard to work with. Mine is even worn in and it's challenging. So you could still find this older version on some pre-love markets, but I highly recommend if you are interested in a Louis Vuitton bum bag that you go with the new one because the zipper pull is supposed to be much better. All right, we are ready to hit the road. Alexa, play NPR. Bubba's is gonna get smarter while we're gone. I am back from Target and I was able to get the box that I wanted. Um, and I still have plenty of room. I might add a few more. And I just decided I'm gonna transport all of them myself. But in this document box, I have those necklaces. And then the ones that won't tangle are at the bottom. But now I can just take this with me. And I know they're all together. So ran to Target just to grab some lunch. My stomach has been feeling a little upset. So I think one thing I wanna do is just lower my carb intake and see if I feel better. I'm not cutting them out by any means, but just like lowering it. I have to be careful because I still need carbs as I'm running more, but I don't know. My stomach just hasn't felt wonderful and I'm gonna do it and see how I feel during the week. But I love just buying a salad kit to make wraps in. So that's what I'm gonna do for lunch. I'm gonna make this Asian slaw and just put it in one of these carb balance wraps for lunch and maybe have some hummus and cucumbers. I'm sorry I haven't filmed or picked up my camera today. We really just enjoy time with Steven's parents who live about an hour and a half away from us in Buffalo and his aunt who lives in Buffalo and then his sister was in from Boston uh, and she came and <laughs> we're calling it instead of a house warming, a house cooling and his mom brought dinner and we all just had dinner and hung out and talked and chatted and it was kind of like our last little family gathering here at the house. His parents already have a visit planned in September during Stephen's birthday, so we're not worried about um, still seeing our family and spending time together. But they just left and Stephen was just cleaning up dinner. I went up and put on my pajamas. I think it's like 6.30, but yeah. Dogs were well behaved. Mabel, of course, didn't really let anyone pet her. And when they tried to say goodbye, she ran. Bubba's enjoyed his time. Wow. He left everyone a present. This is editing me jumping on because I know that today's video is a little bit shorter, but that's only because we had time with family and stuff like that. And I mean, I have no excuse to make, but it's just a little bit shorter, but we will be picking up to the longer content 
probably during the rest of the week. Actually, I know we will because I already have the week planned. So get ready for really good videos. Um, next, this coming week, I'm gonna be visiting one of my favorite places each day, and I can't wait to share them with you and the places that I'll probably miss the most. So with that being said, that's gonna wrap up this vlog. Love you all, you're the best. Talk to you soon, see you soon.